Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and in today's video I will discuss about virtual machine concept. Okay, so here I have listed down few points along with a diagram of virtual machines. So with the help of these points and with the help of this example, we will try to understand the concept of virtual machines. Okay, so now the first point says a virtual machine is an execution of a computer system within our physical personal computer okay so when we have a computer we normally have an operating system and that operating system might be windows 7 operating system windows 8 or 10 operating system or it may be a ubuntu operating system or fedora operating system okay so we normally used to have one operating system running inside our computer and that operating system will be allowing us to perform various activities on that computer that operating system was allowing us to access all the resources and perform various operations on the computer okay so but what these virtual machines offers okay these virtual machines allows the users to execute multiple computer system within our physical personal computer okay so initially we will be having one operating system and that operating system might be windows 7 fedora or ubuntu okay but on top of that we can create various virtual machines and inside that virtual machines we can install separate operating systems okay and these each and every operating system which we have installed inside these virtual machines also has the same access to all the resources of that computer okay so that is what virtual machines all about okay so these virtual machines creates an environment for the users where users can install multiple operating systems inside a single machine okay uh, what this first point says is a virtual machine is an execution of a computer system within our physical personal computer okay so inside our physical personal computer we can execute more than one computer system we can install more than one operating system with the help of these virtual machines okay now the next point is a virtual machine allows users to install and run multiple operating systems in a single pc thereby making an illusion that each separate execution environment is running its own private computer okay so as i have already said that a virtual machine allows us to install and run more than one operating system in a single pc thereby making an illusion that each separate execution environment is running its own private computer okay so these virtual machines makes an illusion to the users that different computer systems are there with different operating systems but in reality there will be only one computer system where with virtual machines installed in it with different operating systems okay last point here resources of computer system are shared to each operating system running by virtual machine okay so as i have already told you that we can install more than one operating system in a single personal computer and each and every of these operating system which we have installed inside a virtual machine can have equal access to each and every resources of this computer okay so here you can see the i have a, i have drawn a diagram so where at the bottom you can see the hardware okay on top of the hardware our virtual machine implementation is there okay so suppose there was a windows 10 operating system was installed inside this computer okay and above that operating system we have implemented our virtual machine okay we have created three virtual machines virtual machine one virtual machine two virtual machine three okay apart from the system having its own operating system which is windows 10 this system can also accommodate other operating systems inside it with the help of these virtual machines okay as i already told you that i have installed three virtual machines and in virtual machine one i have installed ubuntu 
in virtual machine 2 i have installed fedora operating system and inside virtual machine 3 i have installed windows 7 operating system okay and each and every of these virtual machines will be having their own kernel okay which is operating system okay so each and every of these virtual machine will be having its own operating system and this operating system can execute its own processes as you can see here this process belongs to the kernel of virtual machine one and this process is belongs to the kernel of virtual machine two where fedora is been installed and this process is are belongs to the kernel of virtual machine 3 where windows 7 is installed okay so like this we can make an illusion to the user that each separate execution environment is running its own private computer okay so this is everything about virtual machines okay so now let us discuss about the advantages of virtual machines first advantage virtual machines provides higher degree of protection to various resources of the computer because if any of the operating system corrupted or malfunction leads to affect only that relevant virtual machine okay so here since we have installed multiple operating systems inside the single computer system with the help of virtual machines tomorrow if anything goes wrong with any of the virtual machines then remaining virtual machines will be as it is nothing will happen with the uh, nothing will happen to the operating system installed in other virtual machines next point other users of virtual machines can continue their routine operations without being disturbed okay as i have already told you that uh, that various operating systems will be installed inside a single computer with the help of virtual machines and tomorrow if anything goes wrong with any of the virtual machine then the users of other virtual machines will not get affected okay other users of other virtual machines can continue their routine operations without being disturbed next point various operating system can be run concurrently to serve the different needs of various users okay. so, since here in this virtual machine various operating systems are running then users of other operating systems can continue their work without getting disturbed next point multiple operating system environment can exist simultaneously on the same machine isolated from each other and although multiple operating systems are installed in a single machine but these are different environments every operating system is isolated from each other so with this concept of virtual machines we can easily maintain our data okay. uh, information will be available at any time and we can recover from system failure very quickly okay so these are some of the points regarding virtual machines okay so in this video we have seen uh, the concept of virtual machines in operating system with the help of an example and we have also seen the advantages of virtual machines okay uh, and i hope you understood each and every point of this uh, video okay and uh, that's all for this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching